Hi, welcome back to this channel. Today I'm still continuing making videos on MATLAB on Fourier's law. Check out the previous video I made on how to calculate QX using various parameters K, thermoconductivity, cross sectional area, T inside, T outside, and the thickness. According to this equation, these are called a Fourier's law of heat conduction through materials. Today, this is a part two. Now, assuming we're going to solve a similar problem, but now in this scenario, you have the QX, but you are supposed to look for T inside. From the previous video, you are calculating QX, which is the heat flux in watts now you have the heat flux that is now you are supposed now to calculate the t inside have fun let's solve it for this now we have we we, 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 are, we are going to use similar blocks as we used in our previous example one is a conductive heat transfer block which enables us to define various parameters like normal conductivity, all these parameters they are supposed to be defined in this block. You can go now go to library. In the thermo, you go to the thermal elements under this thermo, thermal elements, then choose a conductive heat transfer. You drag it in. The plane. Okay. We define the parameters. You double click. Now you define your area. We are going to use the same same area, which is a uh, 1.5. Thickness is 0 0.003 three millimeters. Thermal conductivity is 0 0.96. Okay. In future videos, I will illustrate what this term variables does. But now let's focus on the same ones okay then we need a source to define our t we have defined k a and dx now we need to define t out and qx remember the qx is the heat flux which is the heat flow in what's therefore you go back to library you go now to sources you choose heat flows this is a source that will enable us to define the value of 480. You choose this one. Yeah. You double click and you choose 480. 480 watts W. Okay. Then you connect A B to A to illustrate that. 480 watts on the heat flux is supposed to flow this one represents now the parameters okay you have to connect this one at a not b because the heat is flowing from a to b therefore this has to go to a if the heat was flowing from b to a i could have connected this to at b port okay that's the reason why we connect heat flow source at A port but not B port because the heat flow is from A to B. Of course now from A we need a reference. Okay, we go to thermal elements, you choose a thermal reference. This one is to define uh, the source such that from A to B we get 480. The reference is zero. It's, it is like a datum for us to define this 480 therefore we are getting A to B with, the, with this reference of 480 because whenever you measure variable you always need a reference the reason we are using a normal reference in the future videos you are going to see when we, we model maybe a fluid dynamics we'll be using a, a, a fluid reference okay then we need to define now T out Remember the T out is on B port. T inside will be on A port. 
and we are supposed to find the t inside on a port b port is provided the t out go back to library browser go to sources you have to choose temperature source here i'll get here now this is 13 you define this as 13 that they said because our concern is changing t changing t it it is changing t is independent of whether you're using a Kelvin, Celsius, whatever, the change in T, dig F, dig F, dig C, whatever you're using, the change in T is independent, okay? So, I'm going to use uh, 13 for now. Then, uh, then you connect this one to B port. Because this is the T out. This is the T is a T out yeah okay then we need to define oh that's all we need we have Q X which is here we have T out which is here and we have these parameters which are here therefore we need a sensor because we need it because we are measuring T in I need a sensor to measure the T in, therefore, you go to library, you go to thermal sensor, see thermal sensor, take a temperature sensor. Yeah. We are measuring now here. Uh, let me, we are measuring temp at A port with respect to B port. <laughs> This one is a cross variable. In this example, we used a heat flow, heat flow rate sensor, like a current sensor. But now, T temperature is like a voltage in current perspective. Therefore, you have to connect this one across, not in parallel. This is supposed to be parallel, like a current sensor. But now this one has to be like a voltage. Therefore, we are measuring A. Connect A2. Okay, to this port there. Then B has to go to a reference. A with respect to B. And B has to be zero. My reference here has to be zero. Okay. Oops. Therefore, this one has to be a reference there. We can rotate. Control R. Rotation. Again, yeah, I like it like that. Okay, and then at T pot we get our temperature. Therefore, we need a T. This is a physical signal. You have to convert P to simulink. Therefore, go back to library. Choose the. Uh, go to foundation here. Utilities choose this and connect it here okay then we need a, we need a display to display our value of t t in you connect it here therefore this screen will display the t in okay let's use the same values here to see whether you're going to get the same last three you have to use a solver you can type s of solver Never forget this. It is the one that is used now to solve. It is it is like a brain to solve our, solve our problem now. Okay. Now uh, we are supposed not to find T in. Let me use a T in of 14 here. Let me use a T in of 14. Our T out is uh, 13. We should get 480 from previous video. I want us to use the same values. T out 13. Therefore, we should get 14. Okay. Okay, let's hope so. Run. Yeah, we are getting a 14. Let's see how we are getting a 480. Let me choose this T inside to be like 18. Let me calculate the QX so that we can put we can input this QX in our T in problem. 
I'm getting 2400 here on QX. Therefore, go here, put 24, 2400. With the 2400, we should get this value 18 on our display. I'm using this one to validate our TE. Okay, so that so that we can be sure whether we are solving the right model. Yeah, I'm getting an 18 here, which is the same value I'm using here. Okay, therefore we can be able to solve QX using this scenario, or we can find or T out. Either T in or T out, you can find any. Okay. Uh, that's all. Thank you for watching my video. Kindly subscribe for more videos. Yeah. In the next video, we are we are going to have fun because I'm going to create something nice, something nicer. Okay. Kindly don't miss out by coming videos. Thank you. Bye.